Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Priya Sapaha. This is the fourth part of my series, Significant Provisions for Women in the Indian Legal System. In first two video, I have explained the provisions and the amendment made after 2013 and 2018 in criminal law for women. And in my third video, I have explained some of the provisions related to marriage and pregnancy. And in this video, I will explain some of the important right which every woman must know. I always say that a woman is competent enough and she should not be dependent on anyone. And in our legal system also, there are many rights and laws to protect women. And it keep on amending time to time. Some of the constitutional rights and the other rights which every woman must know is discussed in this video. The first one is right to equality. Article 14 of Constitution of India guarantees right to equality in which it has been clearly stated that in India there cannot be any discrimination on the basis of religion, race, caste, sex or place of birth. That's why Women also have the same right as the men or any other. The next one is right to equal pay. Earlier there was a discrimination between the pay scale of women and men. And in the daily wages also there are still some discrimination between the men or women. But let me tell you clearly that according our constitution and under the Equal Remuneration Act 1976, there cannot be any discrimination on the basis of the sex when it comes to the salary pay or wages. So there must be an equal salary and equal wages as compared to men for the working woman as per our constitution. Next is right to dignity and decency. This particular thing is basically pertaining to medical examination procedure. This may be for the accused or maybe for the victim. But it clearly stated that whenever there is a procedure of medical examination, it is necessary that it should be performed by the female doctor and presence of one woman must be there. Next is right against indecent representation. Basically, according to the Indecent Representation Women Prohibition Act 1986, the depiction of women's figure of her form or a body part through advertisement or in publication or in writing, painting, figures or in any other manner which is indecent, derogatory or is likely to degrade, corrupt or injure the public morality or morale is a punishable offence and the person who is doing so will be punished in his first conviction for the term of two years and with fine which may extend to 2000 rupees and if there is a second or a subsequent conviction then the imprisonment be not less than six months but which may be extend to five years and there will be fine also which is 10,000 rupees but it may also be extend to 1 lakh rupees. Next is right to anonymity. The objective of this right is to maintain the dignity of women and reputation of the family. Basically, whenever there is a sexual assault with any women to ensure her privacy and dignity, the statement may be recorded alone in front of the district magistrate and in the presence of a female police officer. Next is right to register complaint virtually. This has been started in Delhi earlier. Now, there are some guidelines which has been issued by the Delhi police. That is, if by some reason a woman is not able to come to the police station for any sort of complaint or FIR, then she can send a written complaint through either email or by register port addressed to a senior police officer of the level of deputy commissioner or commissioner of police. Then that senior officer directs the SHO of the police station of the area where the incident occurred to conduct proper verification of the complaint and lodged FIR. 
Then afterward, police can then come over to the residence of the victim and can take the statement. Next is right to zero FIR. Although according to CRPC, any FIR must be lodged at the specific police station where it has the jurisdiction of doing so. That means wherever the incidents has been occurred, the FIR must be registered or lost to that police station only. But according to the Supreme Court ruling, to save the victim's time and to prevent an offender from get away scot-free, FIR can be lodged at any police station irrespective of the location. Thereafter, it can be moved to the police station in whose jurisdiction the case falls. Next is right not to be arrested at night. Any woman cannot be arrested after sunset and before sunrise except in an exceptional case or on the orders of first class magistrate. In case of search also, it shall be made by another female with strict regard to decency. Similarly, if police has to interrogate a woman at her residence in the presence of a woman, constable and family members or friends. A woman can also not be detained at night at the police station without legal permission. But in case the woman has committed a serious crime, the police require in writing from the magistrate explaining the reason and urgency to arrest during the night. Next is right to get free legal aid. Free legal aid is one of the fundamental right guaranteed to all citizens of the country. It has been described under Article 39A of the Constitution of India, which says that free legal aid must be given to the poor and the weaker section of the society to promote justice on the basis of equal opportunity. There are many state legal service authority and district legal service authority which ensures free legal aid to people. They include rendering of any service in the conduct of any case or other legal proceeding before any court and giving of advice on any legal matter. And the last one is National Commission for Women Act 1990. Basically, this is a setup by the statutory body in January 1992 under the National Commission of Women Act 1990. This particular act is to review the constitutional and legal safeguard for women, recommended remedial legislative measures, facilitate redressal of grievances, and advise the government on all policy matters affecting women. So this is the end of the significant provisions for women in the Indian legal system part 4. If you want the detailed notes, you may visit to my website that is priyasapaha.com and you may also follow me on FB page and Instagram that is Law Colic you, and on Twitter Dr. Priya Sapaha. I hope you like the video. Thank you for watching and if you like it, do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel. Thank you.